There are really a lot of legends about brides that now appear from time to time near lakes, on a road or some other places. But today let's look at a special one. The legend of the mistletoe bow appeared in the 19th century and is still associated with many mansions in England. In a nutshell, the story says about a girl who is going to marry in some hours. During her wedding breakfast, she starts playing a game of hide-and-seek with her friends, or just is trying to escape from the crowd and to find a quiet place. She goes into a chest and hides there, but can't get out of there. Everyone starts searching for her. They sought her that night, and they sought her next day, and they sought her in vain, while a week passed away. In the highest, the lowest, the loneliest spot, young Global sought widely, but found her not. And years flew by, and their grief at last was told as a sorrowful tale long past. And while Lowell appeared, the children cried, See, the old man weeps for his fairy bride. So it turns out that the bride dies inside that chest because of obvious reasons of hunger or thirst. Her body is found only after many, many years. Well, it wasn't already a body, it was just a skeleton in a wedding dress. The location where this terrifying story took place is still unknown. However, the interesting thing here is that there are really a lot of places in England that claim that that legend, that story happened exactly there. And some of such locations even still represent that chest that the bride was found in. In Hampshire, for example, there is a well-known Bramshill house that is claimed to be one of the most haunted houses in England. The historian William Page suggested this house can be a possible location for the legend of the mistletoe bow. Sometimes it is said the bride was Joan Cobb's daughter Anne, who married Hugh Bethel of Yorkshire. Others claim that it can be Geneva Orsini, and that her ghost came to Bramshill from Italy with the chest. Another interesting place is situated in Oxfordshire and is called Minster Lowell. If you remember, the name Lowell appeared in Bailey's poem The Mistletoe Bow. Let's have a look at this mysterious Minster Lowell. First of all, Minster Lowell is a village located in Oxfordshire where there is Minster Lowell Hall that once belonged to Lord Lowell. And there is a legend that says in 1708 his remains were found in a secret chamber in the manor house. It is believed that escaping from a battle, the Battle of Stoke in 1487 to be precise, he had hidden himself there and then died of starvation. This story, this legend is extremely similar to the legend that we are talking about. Which one is true is up to you to decide. Another house that claims the presence of the bride of the legend of the mistletoe bow is Exton Hall, located in the village of Exton, Rutland. It was the family seat of the family of Sir James Harrington and later the Noel family, Earls of Gainsborough, for almost 400 years. Nowadays, the hall is still used by Henry Noel, Viscount Compton, and his family, and is not usually open to the public. And now let's go to the maybe the most interesting part of the video, in which we are going to see how and when this legend appeared. In 1822, Samuel Rogers wrote a poem, Ginevra, in his book Italy. He himself said, that story was believed to be found on fact, but the time and the place are uncertain. The tale became so popular that in 1830s a song entitled The Mistletoe Bow appeared, written by Bailey and Sir Henry Bishop. 
and already in some years this song was considered to be one of the most popular songs ever written. The story also appeared in the short story collection The Missile to Bride and Other Haunting Tales by Kate Moss and not long ago, by the way, in 2013. There are film versions of the legend as well. For example, 1904 version of The Missile to Bow, after which appeared more versions. Also, in 1948, Alfred Hitchcock film Rope, in which the main character Brandon Shaw says it's his favorite tale. The legend seemed to me quite terrifying and very, very sad. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts about this legend of Mistletoe Bow in the comments and see you as always in the next video.